Many times we go to extreme measures when life treats us too badly for way too long. What I mean by extreme measures is having somebody say, fuck life, I'm leaving home, I'm leaving everything I have, I don't care anymore, and you go to this kind of extreme, or you get like the other extreme where somebody might be like, fuck, you know, fuck entrepreneurship, fuck business, I'm just gonna study, and various other extremes. Fuck working out, I hate working out, I'm never gonna work out anymore. Fuck being lazy, I'm gonna work out every day and kill myself till I become the biggest, strongest person in the world. You know, fuck women, I hate women. <laughs> I don't wanna date any more women. You know, I'm off to men or something. <laughs> that's extreme or I have to have women I must have women all the time women are my reason for being alive that's extreme whenever you see somebody going through these kinds of extremes and especially if you're going through one uh, it just means that you sort of gave up on the middle it means that you you the middle wasn't good enough uh, your life is too painful so you go to some extreme some idealistic version to avoid the pain of it. Uh, I was recently talking to a guy who was interested in working with me and for him that thing was business. Um, he was always very interested in business but he on one hand leaned towards learning. He had a good potential future at Harvard. On the other hand he leaned towards being this extreme entrepreneur you know, take massive risks and, and all that stuff. Well, I told him that both are wrong. And the reason they're wrong is because we tend to go into these extreme ways of thinking when we don't take action. You don't see a lot of guys who take action on a regular basis and get certain results. You go to the, you know, the extreme version of like, you know, fuck it, I'm never doing this again. Or, or I'm only going to do this all the time. The people who go to the extremes are always the people who don't take action. Because uh, then they're like, fuck this thing, I'm never taking action again. Or they're the opposite, like, oh my god, I can't take action, so the only way for me to take action would be to go fucking extreme, so I have to go extreme. And then they go extreme and, uh, yeah, <laughs> burn themselves out. So anything extreme is inherently, um, it's not a long-term solution. <clears throat> it <clears throat> sorry it doesn't last it, it's uh, it's it's inherently a short-term thing because anything extreme anything too one-sided uh, necessarily means that other things are getting neglected and whenever you neglect some parts of a system the system eventually has to die uh, this is very similar to cancer where cancer is when certain cells simply multiply too much and uh, this causes an imbalance and so you die uh, anything anything extreme in life is bad unless everything is extreme quote unquote like if somebody is super fit super happy super rich uh super you know has a super life super relationships that's not extreme because everything is balanced for other people that may look extreme but that's only relatively to what they don't have so you you build us up you you build us up and you get to this kind of uh, uh, situation that might appear extreme to other people but for you it's actually normal and um, and that's how you do it and again the whole extreme thing only comes about when you don't take action as long as you take action whoa shit second time this happened to me while making videos so <laughs> as long as you don't take action uh, you're gonna stay stuck you're gonna stay in the same place and you're gonna start developing these weird thinking things like oh yeah I need to go like this extreme needs to be crazy yeah so what I recommend instead and what I told that uh, person I was talking to is uh, look you know like uh, moving out of your parents house uh, going through the extreme path of entrepreneurship stuff like that you know that's extreme not a good idea um, going to Harvard and completely focusing yourself on studying 
oh, that's also extreme that's also not a good idea they're also always in the future you know it's always like as a future idea so I told him look you know what you can do now start working on both start developing the habits already for example if you want to be more successful with women start already approaching women while uh, learning more about it or uh, you have the business learning thing uh, dilemma again start already doing small business stuff maybe talking to successful business owners stuff like that while you still study so don't don't like always have multiple things going for you and see what works and when you see something that's working focus on that but don't never do it out of desperation always do it because okay this is working I like it I want to invest more in it but never do it like oh fuck it I hate everything so yeah that's my solution no because if you over focus on something that's not working already <laughs> you just uh, you're just bound for more pain more headbutting to the wall if you're stuck in this situation uh, this topic can definitely be developed further and I recommend you contact me because I can help you solve it in about five minutes uh, I know for me it took years sometimes uh, but because it took me so long to fix it I learned all the different angles so if you haven't subscribed yet uh, please subscribe I'm sure I'm gonna help help change your life and uh, thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions